Hello YouTube, Retro Rewind here and today I'm going to do a game room tour for 2021 I started this channel in August, so I'm new to uploading content onto my channel. I did do a room tour in December last year, which I just I just sent onto the uh, onto YouTube before even calling myself Retro Rewind or anything like that. I just put the video on there, and people were asking for more, etc. So I thought I'd start a channel, call myself Retro Rewind, and so almost a year. I'll show you what I've done to the room, a few little changes with lights and shelving, etc. So if you go back and watch last year's video and watch this one, you'll be able to see what changes have happened. Those who have been tuning to my channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, really appreciate it. This is this is so much fun doing these channels. Really enjoying watching everyone else's videos in the retro community. So I'm gonna go in here and i will scan the room do some uh, little talks about what i've got and hope you enjoy it so let's go inside let's go in then guys so i will do the tour with the lights on then lights off so you can see it lit up so i've got it on horizontal so let's start over here we have got You got the Master System 2, SNES, N64, Atari, NES, and Mega Drive 2. So on the Master System, I've got a multi-card with all the games on. So just play any game I like. SNES, I've got a, a multi-card with about 100 games on. Uh, N64, yeah, games. And obviously... NES, I've got like a little multi-car with about 100 games on. <clears throat> Same with the Mega Drive 2, multi-car with a few hundred games on. So, yeah, this is pretty much the same box I had last time, but I've now got strip lights running through. I've also got a changer, so I can just press a button and flick between the four consoles I've got. Is these four here are hooked up to that, and then... On the back of the TV, I've got the uh, RF switch, so I can switch between these two old boys. So, nice big Toshiba CRT TV. And behind it, I have got my ever-growing Back to the Future collection. I don't know if you can get that all in. And a few good news things. The strip lights I've got running up the unit and up behind the cabinet. Also, what I've changed is before you had all the bare wiring all behind the box. So I built this box, just had a bit of wood there, just stuck it on just to cover the wiring up, really tidy it up. And also fitted a, as you can see, a switch. So all I need to do is just Press that button, boom, just turns everything on, all in one go. So obviously the door I came in, some more Back to the Future stuff. And then I've got my Lego collection, which is getting a bit out of hand. I've got loads in the attic, which I haven't got room to bring down. So this is all my Lego stuff. Some's hidden and obviously I've got <clears throat> a load of boxes there with it as well. So what I had before was I had up here, I had a three boxes, square square cubes. And then what I've done is take them out and put some floating shelves in. It's tidied up nice. I think it looks a lot better. And then obviously, Ready Player One and Back to the Future posters. And you can't get over that board, can you now? Look at that. I love that. It cost me a fortune, but it is a replica that they made of the original board from the film. So not many of them made. And then obviously, as you've seen before, or if you're new to the channel, this is my Batch of Future themed arcade cabinet. 
Got the cabinet from Bitcade as a flat pack, just a normal, just flat pack, nothing with it. So what I did was just an entry level joystick and button pack and fitted my own monitor. The biggest I could squeeze in there was a 19.5. And then I installed a Raspberry in there with, I think it's got 35,000 games apparently. I mostly just play the arcade or MAME on there. I don't really play the consoles on it. Um, but as you can see, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice arcade unit. I plan to update it this year with some better joysticks and buttons and upgrade the speakers and put a sub in it. So a little setup I've got down here is I've just brought the switch up from downstairs because it was never played and put it on here on this TV was going spare. Got me Amstrad set up there, hard type loaded on. And then just under here is a bit of a mess, here's some magazines, I've got a Raspberry Pi in there with exactly the same games, I've got my arcade to be found, I can hook that up to that TV if I want to play the consoles on it, and then obviously a few games for me Amstrad. So I think I've got about 20 games I think there. So then I've got, hiding in the corner, I've got my Mega Drive collection, got the Mega Drive 2, box version, Mega Drive 1, the little one, and then hiding that brown box just behind there is a Mark II mint in the box. And for the Mega Drive, I've got 50, yeah, 50 games, I think it is. Dead on 50, I reckon. And then on here, I've got hiding behind there, you can't see behind me. There is a the scope, I've actually got two of them actually. That's an empty box because I've got I've got one set up, as you see, hiding behind here, I think. There, hiding behind there. So I play on that. And I've got another one hiding in the attic. So what have we got on here? Well, what should I say is it's annoying having the bike in here, but <clears throat> I had two bikes in here, but it's a bit valuable to put out in the garage. You've got enough bikes put out there. So I kind of I have to keep it in here. I, Maybe take it off the wall and just have it standing here so I can use that wall space, really. So, consoles on here, I've got a, an old yellowing Game Boy, which I've had forever. And then you've got your minis, your NES Mini, SNES Mini. Got the action set, set Nintendo, a Zapper Gun, a SNES box there. I've got Game Boy Color, obviously Donatello there. Super Game Boy there. Now I've got, that's an empty box because the uh, the console is actually want to play on, but the the other two there were fully packed. Um, that was a birthday gift, the um, golden eye one off a friend, which is really nice. She found I brought found it in the attic, and she gifted that for me for my birthday, which was lovely. And then obviously I got a Game Boy Advance there, and then a recent pickup. If anyone saw my pickup videos. Bargain at eight quid. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my little mini console stands. I've kept it simple, really. And then down here, <clears throat> I've got my games. So I've got some box SNES games, loads of loose cartridges, a few shelf fillers like most people, some more box ones there. And I have got 59, 60 games in the SNES. And I've got me NES. Some box ones there. And a, a load of loose carts, really. And I didn't in there. There's a load of PSP films and games. Which I've got PSP. I think I've got nine nine games, which my brother gave me for my, my birthday this year. He found it in his attic when he was tidying up and taking out for my birthday, which was lovely of him. And then I've got the N64, which I remember me and my brother getting for our Christmas between us, like we did the snares, and we carried on playing it, so a few games left over. So I've got a load of loose carts in there, all down the back there, and then some box ones. Not too many on the N64, I've only got 33, so yeah. And then what we got in here, we have got the good old granddaddy of the Atari. So loads of loose carts have gained over the years. 
a lot of them actually are from my childhood, believe it or not. And then we've got some boxed ones. And there's, uh, I think there's one, two, three, four of them are sealed still, so that's pretty cool. You pick them up pretty cheap, really, Atari. Seems like no one really wants Atari. I think it's about, about 5,000 games for that blue thing. So then I've got PS1, got loads of PS1 games and a mint of a box. And the fact is, with this PS1 and all the games, uh, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color, and that brown box Mega Drive hiding behind there, and all, or quite a lot of them games, I was gifted by a friend who cleared of in out of attic and they belonged to uh, her brother who unfortunately passed away and she said since I was a gamer I could have them and I gifted some uh, money towards the charity that she was doing charity for at that time so that was lovely of her that was there's the PSP I was on the mount my brother gave me for my birthday well it's a case it's obviously in there and what I've got under here is a load of Game Boy games I've got Game Boy. Uh, well, PS1, as when I said about the PS1, there's 32 games there. Atari, I've got 51 Atari games. Game Boy, not so many. I've only, I've only got about 10 or 11 games in there. Just some um, stuff for the N64 there. Original Grandad joystick there in its box. Just some controllers. And then obviously Switch box and some... Game Boy camera there, look, and some advanced Game Boy games. And this old boy, look at that bad boy. The old TV pong style kind of thing there. So yeah, so that's uh, that's one section there, which pretty much covers it. I think Atari, Game Boy, Mega Drive, N64, and there's PS1. I also got a PS2 with about 10 games, but that's in the bedroom, which it's been in there for a while. Now it's used as used to be used as a DVD player, to be fair. And obviously the Switch, which I just brought up. I've only got a few games there, look. Nothing special, really. I recently got the Alex Kid. It's so cool to play that. So. Go on to the main focus of my collecting for the, I've been collecting about well I say I've got a few things left over from a child but mainly been going for about seven or eight years this is my main section here which is what I've been collecting half of for the last two years which is as you can see the master system so obviously I've got the mass system one and it's boxed and then you got the mass system two boxed and then just rapid fire the old style joystick, the one that you could pad where you could put the little joystick in. Some old Sega cards, Sega shoelace. I remember getting that at school when I was about 13, I think. And then latest edition, it has to be obviously the uh, bit map book, which is awesome. I know you can get that for other consoles, not just the mass system. You need to check that out. That is an awesome book. And then Recently had this made, a 3D printout. Oh, awesome that was, guy did a fantastic job of that. And then if you, uh, if you step back and pan up, you can see the wall of my Master System collection, which is, uh, I would say over the last couple of years I've been concentrating on this. Got 229 titles, shall I say, because there's more, because I've obviously got um, a few different variants of them. So I'll try and zoom in a bit. Uh, obviously, try to keep them out better than order, running through. Sorry about the, uh, the style of filming. Just me stretching up so you can get a kind of sense of what games I've got. I would love, love to get a full PAL collection, but I can't see it. Yeah, see, there you go. Three games all different. One with a special brochure, one being a Denmark. And then sometimes it's just that you got the same game like Outrun, but it's got something different printed on the back. I've ended up keeping it because it's different. 
But yeah, I, love, I would love a full power, but it seems like everyone's been through them in it and they seem to be so expensive and some of the rarer games are going for uh, stupid money. So I can't see me getting the full collection, but I will go as far as I can, how far money allows, really. I'd like to have all the classics. I've got three of them, so that's cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Master System collection. Just uh, phase ago, I've got a box full of all different joysticks and controllers there. Obviously, got the Rocky figure and box game there. The old joystick, and then I got that bad boy. One opens because. Well, I downloaded it on the Switch anyway, and I thought, I might as well put it in my collection, it'll look good. So yeah, so that's pretty much the game collection. Obviously, you can't see the floor's empty, I haven't got any chairs or anything here, but I normally have a, a bar stool there, you can see the circle mark, and then I, I tend to have a, a beanbag down there. So, I have... This mat I just chucked in here really, I'm after a, a nice Pac-Man one. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll turn out the lights and then you can have a look at <coughs> what it's looked like glowing up. So, a bit of daylight shining through at the moment, but as you can see the, the lights, I want blue but it makes it look purple on here. Just a nice, nice effect. At night time it looks really cool. See the, uh, Backlighting for glow out the uh, showing out the back of the uh, arcade there, and then we just got a, you can't really tell the lighting out the back of uh, out the back of here, which looks cool at night time. So yeah, so that's pretty much my game room tour. So uh, I hope. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Let's put the light back on. So yeah, there it all is. Love a little scan for you again, so you can see. So that's my collection. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to continue watching what content I'll put out. I do appreciate any comments, negative or positive. Anything you would think you'd like me to do to the room, then yeah, let me know. One up upgrade was the uh, the light. It was just a normal single light, which was dull in here, so it's nice to have the big bright lights uh, filming in here. But yeah, this is my room. Hope you enjoyed it. Everyone have a good day and uh, weekend. And Retro Rewind. Out.